Hello from San Antonio, this is Siren Tayro, and this is the Sagittarius Moon Reading for October 2020. If you have any personal planets in Sagittarius or Sagittarius Rising, this may resonate with you. But this is a lunar reading intended for those who have Moon in Sagittarius. I'm using the Moonology Oracle, this Moon deck that I designed myself, and the Santa Marte Tarot. I will shuffle and pull one oracle card from each deck and six tarot cards. Oops. A new start is coming. New moon. All right, we are coming up on the most badass full moon of the year, in my opinion, full moon in Aries on Thursday. Many asses will be kicked into the middle of next week. So this is a good time for intense self-care. Uh, maybe think about taking a break from social media because it will be a rather intense full moon. Moon conjunct Mercury. We're so in sync. That must feel nice. I've never experienced that, but Say, for example, your moon is at 13 Sagittarius and your person's Mercury is at 15 Sagittarius. That probably feels really good. There's this understanding that goes far beyond words. The energy just feels right when the two of you are together. There's some mental telepathy going on there. The Hanged Man, Seven of Pentacles, Four of Swords, Two of Wands, Seven of Cups, Four of Pentacles. So this is not the energy of a relationship. This is the energy of a mind fuck. Um, not knowing where you stand with someone. See you when I see you. We'll talk when we talk. Nothing is nailed down. This is not grounded in um, reality. This is just la la land. Because we have Seven of Cups, which I call Neptune Clouds of Confusion. The Hanged Man, Pisces, the most passive card in the Major Arcana. You could say, well, it doesn't get much more passive than death. But I would disagree because with death, there is energy transference. There is transformation. But with the Hanged Man, it's just... La 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 la, nada, what's going on? If you're not a monk living in a monastery or if you're not, I don't know, on a true spiritual path that goes far beyond collecting crystals and tarot cards, but you're really on the spiritual path, you're dedicated and you're not on YouTube and you're not on social media, but you're really just dedicated and devout. That has some meaning, but in this context, I just see something that's not flowing. Uh, it's not going anywhere. 
I'm very familiar with this energy. It reminds me of um, how I spent the better part of the 90s. You know, I dated and even got married somewhere in there very briefly. Got married at a drive-up window in Vegas, but the marriage was null and void because the guy was still married to his wife. They hadn't gotten a divorce. It was idiotic. But anyway, the better part of the 90s, I was in kind of a mind fuck with the guy that I briefly dated in high school. And I'm seeing something similar here where you talk sometimes and you can have these really fascinating, in-depth conversations. You discuss everything from the reptilians to, I don't know, Stonehenge. Um, when is Jesus coming back or whatever? You have these in-depth conversations, all things esoteric and metaphysical. And then there are months, months go by where you're not talking at all. I don't see you having sex. I'm not seeing an energetic exchange in the 3D. But you're super attached. There are fantasies. There are dreams. Stuff is popping in the 5D, perhaps. It could be that it is time for a spiritual reset. This, Seven of Pentacles, waiting for your manifestations to manifest, to come to fruition. Seven of Pentacles sandwiched between the Hanged Man and Four of Swords. This is not about taking action. Um, it's about taking a break. Fill your seven cups. How do you want to fill your seven cups? Visualize the life that you want to manifest. But this connection that you're in, um, I don't see this coming to fruition. I don't see this as something you would want to focus on. I see this as just a distraction, a diversion. Um, and it may feel really intense now, but I feel like this energy is going to expire eventually. You're going to find someone you can have satisfaction with in the 3D. Please provide an energetic summation for Sagittarius Moon, three additional cards. Chris Moss. Chris Moss, four or five more. Okay, a good hard shuffle then. Another good hard shuffle. One more. Strength. The full. Page of Swords. So we have the Aquarius Leo axis, the most creative axis in Western astrology. Take all this energy and put it into something creative, like writing. Writing is um, absolutely magical. I have manifested relationships, trips, all kinds of stuff by writing it down. I wrote this novel in 2005 for NaNoWriMo National Novel Writing Month, Nova's Gone Potty. And it amazed me how years later, things that I wrote in that novel manifested relationships, trips, situations. So um, 
I'm not seeing a relationship here. I'm seeing a relationship with yourself. Um, but you can take this energy and put it to much better use. So that's what I have. I hope that helps. I hope that resonates. Thank you all so much for watching, liking, commenting, subscribing, and sharing. Sending you all massive love and light from San Antonio.